Our current theme is life in the powerful presence of Jesus. Focusing today uh, on the most important invitation of your life. And this invitation was portrayed in scripture when Jesus called his first disciples. And you can read about that in Matthew 4 verse 18 to 22. And he called them with simply these words. He said, follow me and I will make you into fishers of men. But I want you to focus on that first part. His invitation said, follow me and I will make you. That invitation is still reverberating through the ages to all believers, all people in fact actually, first to come to Jesus as Savior, as Lord, as the one who loves you with all of his life and heart and proved that by dying on the cross. So come, he says, and follow me. That is an invitation. And it's not an in invitation to a one-time event. That's what I want you to know. But to a life spent in the presence of Jesus. Come and follow me. Not a doctrine, not an organization, but me in my person. Come into my presence and stay with me. That's the, at the essence of this call. And it stands in stark contrast to a once-off meeting or a visit now and again. But it reflects a call and an invitation from Jesus for you and me to do life with Him every day, 24-7. This invite is current and real and personal. And it's to you and me as well as in the same way it was made to those first and early disciples. The question today is that we have to settle on which this whole theme of living in the powerful presence of Jesus hinges is this how will you respond to that call and invitation i think it's the most important invitation you will ever receive more important than an invite from any president prime minister or king hopefully hopefully you and i are not too busy to respond to that invitation correctly or maybe distracted busy with so many other things that we miss this invite on our life inbox. You see, this invite to the early disciples was met with their immediate and full response. And it changed their lives forever. The scripture says, when Jesus said, come, follow me, and I will make you, they immediately, that's the key word, immediately left their boats and some of them even left their father and followed Jesus. So a life in the power and the presence of Jesus starts with your and my response to this invitation of Jesus that still reverberates. It's still made today to you. Come and me, come, come and follow me. And it will also change your life and mine if we respond. It will have new meaning and impact when we do that. So the latter part of this invitation brings into perspective the result um, of such a life in his presence and what it will have on you. And Jesus said this after he said, follow me. He said, I will make you. This means that he will shape and form and position you for his purpose um, of, uh, through a life spent in his presence. Please note this is not a remote process, but a personal hands-on process under the control of Jesus. I will make you, like you, you make some clay into a pot. Many people try so hard to change them, to themselves and often fail and in the process they get under condemnation and they miss that Jesus says, your part is to come and your part is to follow, be in my presence. Make it your first mission in life to follow him closely. Focus on my presence, he says, in your life as a top priority and I will do the shaping. Be the clay and I will be the potter. Our ultimate shaping takes place in his presence. So Lord, today, we just say, we're hearing you say, I'm inviting you. Come, follow me, live a life in my presence. And then if you focus on me first, Lord, we hear you say that. I will make you. I will shape you into the man or the woman, the young person that you need to be to fulfill my purpose and it will be a life thank you lord of meaning and purpose 
and power. Thank you that your power in your presence can shape my life any way it needs to shape. Oh, thank you for that, Lord. Encourage every believer in that walk. And please remind them to respond today to say, Lord, I'm, I'm here, I'm coming, and I will follow you. I love your presence, Lord. Amen.